Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this lesson, we are going to show you how to customize and edit your theme on WordPress. So let's go ahead and hop on over here. So, so far we've already talked about um, this dashboard, how to install your theme, add your plugins, and things like that. So when it comes to actually you know, changing, say, the color scheme and the fonts and how um, your sidebar widgets and all of that work, you're actually going to do that in another area. So what you're going to do is come down here to Appearance. So there's two ways. You can either hit here and hit Customize or come up here, click on your site, and it'll open up. Um, and when it does, it's going to have this little black thing right here. So if you've already started adding stuff to it, you can do that. Um, let's go back or hover over appearance and hit customize. And it'll open up the same uh, window here. So from here, you are going to, and, and every one of these are going to be different depending on the theme that you have for your blog. So what I recommend um, before you really start trying to make any changes is to go into each one of these and see what it is that's inside that folder. So like your site identity, that's obviously going to be um, this here. So you see my tagline. Um, now some themes come pre uh, set up with, you know, there's like a certain font or color that's already embedded into it and so you'll have to figure out within your own theme where you change that stuff um, again your uh, site icon that's what shows up here when the blog is open uh, the website let's see if you can see it there my little icon we'll go back here now for mine I can change my color scheme right here so and it tells you your primary colors for post titles buttons and links um, navigation and site and site footer and if you have a newsletter so you can see where these colors kind of show up here and all of this is changeable um, your header image I don't have a header image set um, but if your theme allows for it you would add it right here your background image, I don't have one set. I like the clean white lines in the back, but a background image would be where there's something back here. Honestly, a lot of um, people will say that blogs do much better when they have a clean background. Um, I have seen some where they might have what looks like wallpaper on the back, and it actually is kind of distracting. Um, if you look at reviews for blogs, um, you will find that those with clean white backgrounds do much better. Menu. So your menu is actually your navigation. So this up here would be considered your navigation menu. Um, some themes have more than one, and so you'll have to just kind of play around with these to see where your other ones are if there are more than one. Um, mine, we'll, we'll click on here. All of this is editable. So whatever is showing here right now on yours, you can totally change that. Um, some of mine lead to categories, so any blog posts I've written about blogging and business, if I only want to find those blog posts, I can click on that. Um, some of these actually lead to other places. Um, how to start a blog. My other blog, I have a link here to um, My Veteran Woman Life, which is my other blog. I have an about page, and we'll talk about posts and pages in another lesson, um, but you can simply just click add item if it's something you already have as a page or a post you can link it directly to that um, if you want to link it to categories which you have to determine what your categories are um, and so this just gives your readers an easy way to get to the type of content that they are looking for while they're on your page widgets so we will talk more in detail about widgets in another lesson but basically a widget is all the stuff on your sidebar. These are widgets. Widgets are things that aren't really part of the regular blog post. It can be an image, it can be an Instagram widget. Um, uh, this is a widget, how my recent posts are shown, whether it's just text or sometimes you have a thumbnail image with text. These are widgets that are actually shoppable widgets. Um, and these are image with widgets that actually lead to another page on my blog. And so depending on your theme, 
Um, you may only have sidebar widgets as an option. Um, uh, my current theme actually has multiple places, so I can actually insert widgets down here in my footer. And so like here I have my Bible verse of the day. This is a widget. Um, I've added my affiliate disclaimer and legal stuff here, and we'll talk about that in another lesson as well. My follow buttons, those are also part of your widgets. And so you really just have to get in here and see what your theme allows for. Your home page settings, so uh, we talked about this earlier. If you have your latest post or if you set it as a static page, I have set mine to a static page because of my themes layout for um, my latest post. I didn't like how it was displayed. So every one of my posts in order are given a category of blog in addition to a specific category like business or girl boss lifestyle. And so I have it to that to where every post that I create will show up. So it looks like my, my latest post page, but it's actually created as a static page. Layout. This is where you can decide if you want a sidebar, um, if you don't want a sidebar, if you want it on the left, on the right. And anything you change in here won't actually take effect until you hit publish. So I'll just show you really quick. If I clicked on full width, my sidebar will actually kind of go away. So this is just, um, so people like this. I personally prefer to have my sidebar because it gives them options of things to look at on my blog. So it keeps them on the blog longer and entices them to sign up for things or whatever. Um, but I actually like mine on the right, so we'll put it back over there. And again, you just need to get in here and play with it um, to see how you actually want it to look. And so we're actually not going to change anything because it's going to stay the way it was. We'll go back over there into Customize. All right, so breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, basically, I personally do not like breadcrumbs because it adds just extra text up at the top, which are kind of like these um, uh, category tags down here. So I have all of them unchecked. Um, you can play around with it to see. Let's see if it does it on this page here. It shows up somewhere, um, but it just adds extra words that just really kind of busy up the page. So, you know, you can play around with that to see if you want to have your breadcrumbs or not. I personally do not like them. Comments and trackbacks. Do you want to enable comments and stuff on? I want people to comment on my posts and pages. And we, again, we will talk about what the difference is. Um, but I want people to be able to comment on everything. So you may not have this option on your theme because it may be um, one of those things. It's like it's there no matter what and you have to change it in your regular dashboard. But if you do have it here, make sure everything is checked. Content archives. Um, you may or may not have this feature as well as far as in this dashboard. Um, so you can adjust the settings here on how you want your archives. I don't show my archives just because um, my blog's not that old and I have everything categorized up here. Your additional CSS, stay out of this. Unless you're like an expert on HTML and coding and all of that, you should not enter anything into here because it could really mess up the coding of your site. So that is basically how you customize um, the layout of what your site is going to look like. Um, we will talk about how to use the widgets and what all the different widgets can do in another lesson. Um, but I wanted to mention this really quick so that as you're going through the setup of everything you're going through and you're like, oh my gosh, how do I change the color? Well, now you know you need to go over to the other dashboard. Um, and I didn't go the full way on the first one, but if you hover here and click my site and that black line comes across the top of it, you can get to it by just hitting customize here. So whether you do it from the other dashboard or from this one, hit the word customize and it takes you to this menu again. So that's all for this lesson. Um, I will see you guys in the next one.